The iForm Builder Form Packager is part of our 8.2 release that is rolling out this week. And I just wanted to take a few moments to walk you through some functionality and give you an idea of how this can be used. Uh, underneath the Forms menu, you'll find a new link which is called Package Builder. And this is the page that loads after you've clicked on the Package Builder link. Um, we're going to go ahead and just give our, uh, give our package a name new estimate and add in a description which basically says estimate forms for flooring and um, I'm just going to scroll down and show you that there's a list of all the forms that I've created in my account and I'm looking for one that's called new job estimate and this is a set of forms that I put together uh, basically to calculate um, materials and cost estimate for uh, the flooring industry and if I click on this form it's actually a parent form and you can see it's going through and selecting all of the subforms that relate to it. And if I hover over this little uh, icon on the left hand side, it shows me that three subforms are found. Now in this case, I don't want to add any more forms. I'm just looking to, to build a new estimate package, but I could also add in uh, additional forms in my profile if I wanted to make this a more robust package. Let's say beyond an estimate, um, there's repair or invoicing or all sorts of other forms that we may want to include. For this demo, we'll just keep it high level. Um, again, here's another subform that it found, room calculator. And uh, since this is all that I want, I'm going to go ahead and create the package. And um, we'll just wait while our little indicator here is just uh, spinning away and building the package for us. And now while this, work, while this is working, I'll just take a, a minute to kind of tell you that this is actually all running against the iPhone Builder APIs. Um, so this technology that we've built is actually going against the same API requests that are available to all of our users. Um, so if you were so inclined, you could actually build your own form packager uh, variation or something similar uh, because we're not using anything internal. This is actually um, everything that's everything used in this form packager uh, application is is available to the public. Okay, so now you can see that our package is done, and I can actually download this file to my machine. So now my new new uh, estimate package has been downloaded. Let's go ahead and switch over to uh, a new account and show you the import side. Um, just for reference, I'm in profile 10969 currently, and uh, let's just go ahead and switch. So you can see I'm, I'm actually in another profile, 12161 and we're going to go ahead and import the file that we just created. So I'll pick this file here from my downloads folder. And I'm going to, uh, in this case, not choose skip, but keep both because I think I might have imported this one already. And I want to show you what this looks like after it's all done. So we choose our file, we pick our conflict mode, and click the import button. So again, um, we're going to see our little progress uh, indicator here on the left-hand side go through the import process. Depending on how many forms that you've included, the option list, or any lookup data that might uh, be part of your package, your export and import times will vary. Um, it's really not based on file size, it's the type of resources that you're bringing in. So um, in this case, you can see our import is all complete, and we actually have a build log of all the things that we've created in this, um, this other profile here. So there's actually four forms, all the elements that go in those forms, the different options and option lists, and we had also um, uh, an email report and two HTTP callbacks. Just to give you a quick idea here, if I go to form assignment, and just search for a new, oh, uh, that's probably not the best thing to search for in this profile, but new job estimate. And if I go take a look at the form assignments, um, this is actually including uh, from the package that I created all of the uh, email alerts and any post data settings that I might have had set up. Um, just wanted to show you that because it was, you know, was visible as part of the build logs. Um, this information is copied across as well. It just takes a little while to load this page, but um, you can see the email addresses have been included. And I may have actually set up those alerts on the subform just playing around. So, anyway, I hope you find this useful and um, be sure to let us know what features you'd like to see added to it moving forward. Thanks and have a great week.